Hi guys, it is a gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the great state of Texas here on Tuesday, October 10th, 2018, but we're going to leave the great state of Texas and we're going to head down to Brazil where I guess it's my pleasure to have this conversation with uh, our right-hand man here at Collapse Chronicles, Brother Jay. Brother Jay is down in Brazil, and he's going to talk to us for a few minutes about the upcoming election of this new, um, this new planet eater down there in Brazil named, I hope I'm getting this right, Jair Bolsonaro, who just about swept to uh, the presidency on Sunday. It's pretty much 99% shoe-in that he will win the runoff, and you're going to be reading a lot uh, in the mainstream and alternative media about this guy. So, but what we're going to zero in here in this interview with Jay uh, is what the election of this, uh, of this jackass here in front of us is going to mean, most importantly, for the Amazon jungle and the Cerrado ecosystems in Brazil, for the country of Brazil, and for the planet. And so I'm pretty much going to shut up and just turn this over to Jay. So, so Jay, welcome back to Collapse Chronicles, and just give us your reading of what does the election of Jair Bolsonaro portend. Hey, Sam. Thanks for having me here again. Uh, my pleasure. So, as you said uh, quite explicitly in the beginning, uh, this is big news, uh, not only for Brazil, uh, because uh, this country is as big as it is, it has a lot, a lot of impact on the rest of the world as we know. So, a bit of a background, uh, just to, uh, some technical correction, he was not elected yet, but the probability of him being elected is very high, We're talking about that. But, over 99%. Uh, the regime in Brazil is uh, exactly like in the USA. It's a presidential regime. Uh, I think the only two states in the world, only two countries in the world that has it are Brazil and the US. And exactly the same. You have president, you have the Senate, and you have the Congress. And the elections were for three of them. And it's important because it's not only him. He's the president. But there was a huge change in the Congress as well, in the Senate, which has a huge impact on our issue as well. So what happened in Brazil, uh, uh, that we have here 40, at least 40 different parties, not two, 40. So there's, uh, uh, it's quite diversified uh, and it's much more complex. Uh, the, to, have a, to have a decision, it's, more, it's, it's much more complicated than you have uh, up there to decide between two parties and a few independents. So here we have 40 and about close to 10 candidates to the presidency. So that's why what we do here, we have the first round where we, you elect the president, uh, the party for the Congress and the candidates for the Senate. And if the president candidate wins over 50%, he wins the presidency. If not, we take the two uh, candidates with the high rate of, uh, of uh, votes, the highest rate of votes, and they have a second round uh, in the October 28th. The elections were October 8 or 7, I think. The next round is 28. So what happened, Jair Bolsonaro won in 46%. It was a f just a scratch from winning in the first round. And his competitor, uh, Fernando Haddad, which is, uh, who is, I would say, communist to the, uh, up to social, socialist, depends how you look at it, right? Uh, got a bit less than 30%. So those two guys will go for the second round, and uh, with such leadership, uh, Bolsonaro probably will win the presidency, okay? Uh -huh. Now, looking not only at the presidency, which I think most of the outlets, the American outlets, they don't do. They look at the president. But the real change, the dramatic change, I mean, the Senate 
in the in the in the Congress, what we call the Camera dos Deputados. Okay, in the Congress, the lawmaking body, uh, the govern the the the. the Let's say the Socialist Communist Party, the Socialist Party, let's say, the PT, the uh, Partido de Trabalhadores, the Workers uh, yeah. Party, uh, whose leader, Lula, was eight years president in Brazil, now sits in jail for 13 years for corruption, okay? They dropped dramatically from 30% of the Congress to 10% of the Congress. And Bolsonaro's party, from nothing, from less than 1%, now is 10% of the Congress. It, it, it looks nothing, but all the rest is much less than that. You know, those two with 10, and then you have the rest from 7, 6, and lower than this. It's very different from your side of the globe. I said it's very fragmented. So if you have two parties with 10%, it's a lot. Okay? So, and the Senate is more or less the same. The Senate also, uh, the, the PT, the Socialist Party, has felt dramatically almost to nothing. Okay? And Bolsonaro's party has about 10% as well. So Bolsonaro won not only the presidency, he won both houses. And we don't have midterm elections like you do have. We have only this election yeah. right now. So to summarize that, the technical part, let's say, the, uh, the educational part. Uh, if not, if no miracle or uh, disaster, depending on which side of the fence you are, <laughs> uh, happen until October 28th, Bolsonaro will be the president of Brazil and he will rule the Congress and the Senate. This is the situation and this is almost imminent. Okay, just let, let me just uh, to, to qualify for uh, listeners who might not be aware of this. Uh, the, the the Congress under this this last guy Tamer who was who was bad is this like every time uh, the, the power changes in Brazil it gets worse than the one before I didn't know how this last guy uh, could be any worse but the Congress under Tamer was already very bad for the Amazon jungle and and, and the environment of Brazil I mean what the, 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 it's basically a big agriculture uh, already was running the show uh, under yeah. Tamer, and so that, that these guys have even solidified their power that much more. And if, if although we didn't think it was possible, the whole thing, everything in Brazil is is heading uh, more to the right and more in the hands of of these big agriculture uh, and, and other planet eating business interests. Is, is that a correct assessment of the situation, what happened? Yes, yes, this is what happens, but Temer uh, didn't, want any, didn't win any elections. He was nominated after the impeachment of the yeah. previous president, Dilma, Dilma Rousseff. She was bad yeah. enough. I, I thought she was bad. Then they, then they, then they put that Temer <laughs> guy in. And now look who, I mean, look, look at this yeah. cowboy. And, uh, well, let's, let, let's set the stage. Okay. Dilma was the head of the PT, the, the Workers' Party, the socialist, extreme socialist party. The previous leaders were Lula, who is in jail right now. He's a legendary character in Brazil. But yeah, we won't jail. get off on okay. him. Yeah. Exactly. So she, she was the president and she was impeached okay, on uh, fiscal uh, offenses or fiscal crimes, budget fiscal issues, I don't know. She was impeached and Temer was the vice president, he was nominated automatically according to the yeah. law. So he was never elected. Okay? So he finished so, out Rousseff's term. Sorry? He finished out Dilma's term term. Exactly. And, exactly. and so now we got this guy. But anyway, we're not we're nine minutes into this. Let's really just yeah. just just jump jump ahead. Let, let, let's just cut to the chase here. Who owns this guy? And and what? How is how are his policies going to be playing out over the next several years in the Amazon jungle and the Cerrado, which is kind of, kind of like the Great Plains of of uh, Brazil, which some people say is even more biologically diverse than the Amazon jungle? Just give us your your vision of of what this is going to mean for the environment. Uh, of Brazil. 
Yeah. So, uh, taking off from where you stopped uh, the last comment, uh, what happened here? He is elected. Okay, he's elected, and what happened is that uh, one of my cruelest friends asked me, I don't understand how Bolsonaro won over 60% in the states of North Brazil. Yeah. Normal, normally people are poorer than and so forth. I said, it's very, very easy. The northern states of Brazil are dominated by the agribusiness. Over there, it has about 70% approval. 60 to 70, it's, it's unbelievable. So this president, technically be elected, be nominated in the end of this month, but okay, not yet, but he will be. He was elected by the agro-business uh, power in Brazil. And of course, all the capitalist powers in Brazil, which dominate Sao Paulo, uh, state of Sao Paulo, state of Rio de Janeiro, he's from there, by the way, he's from Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo and all, and all south of Brazil. Okay? So what he put on his flag, okay? He puts, Let's say, like, a bit like Trump in the USA, Brazil first. And Brazil first means Brazil economy first. So he will do anything in his power to boost Brazil's economy. And since Brazil's economy is not famous with the high-tech industry or the sophisticated industry, we have it here, but it's not a powerhouse in Brazil. The powerhouse in Brazil is agriculture. So naturally, he will go to the most easy resource to capture and utilize, which is land. And I predict horrible stuff going up there in the north in terms of Amazon deforestation, in terms of Cerrado uh, deforestation and agriculture uh, uh, development. It's going to be horrible. Okay? He already declared, in a way, I don't give a flying about the environment. Okay? I want Brazil first. I want to recover the economy. We need money, we need jobs, and this is my first priority. That's it. Okay? And it goes on and on and on. It's not only the agriculture. Uh, how about mining? Mining is a huge industry. Yeah. Okay? Some of it is official, and some of it, as some of you may know, uh, it's hidden because there's a lot of foreign companies mining in the Amazon undercover. Okay? <laughs> you don't know they're there, but they are there. In one of my previous channels that they already closed, I did a video about the Norwegians in the Amazon. So they're all over there. He will strengthen these guys, he will legitimize the activity, and he will go after the natural resources in the Amazon. And there's a lot of natural resources there that in order to get them, you have to take off the trees. Very simple. You cannot get there without tearing off the trees, without deforestation. So it's agro-business, it's mining business, okay? It's deregulation, strong deregulation. It's going to be a disaster in environmental terms. So it's everything we, we're, we're hearing about Donald Trump on our own public lands in the United States uh, on steroids and one of the, well, perhaps the single most uh, important biodiverse country on the planet is now... Uh, literally being held hostage by by this cowboy. Uh, exactly, exactly. And not only that, uh, all, all this long story I told about uh, the, the parliament and the senate, it is very important to understand it's not only him. Yeah, yeah. Because Temer had a socialist, socialist parliament and senate. He will work with right-wing parliament and senate, so we yeah. have no problem. So there's nobody, there's no checks and balances. Is, 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 how about, uh, the, is there anything in Brazil, any sort of supposed uh, judicial branch to keep some sort of checks and balances on this guy, or are they going to stand any chance standing up against this juggernaut? Uh, uh, the, the Supreme Court here is elected as well, exactly like in the U.S., is elected. Uh, 12 elected uh, judges over there. Right now it's quite, quite balanced, but I don't know if they would pay attention to this issue that we pay attention to. You know, he was elected on economic basis, because yeah. if you for a second try to take out the collapse glasses off our eyes, if I was like a normal Brazilian citizen, you know, uh, looking for a better job, looking to improve my family life in the 
the, uh, in the lost paradigm, paradigm of, of economic growth that kills the planet. But if I put on for, for a second his glasses, it would be very good for them because he also put on his flag a uh, rigorous fight against crime. Okay? So well, everybody would be in his favor. Uh, yeah. This is what this is what worries me. You know, he would be he would be very popular president, and nobody will be able to face him. This is my prediction. Now we already said a year ago we said that when he will be elected, one of the first steps he will do he will abolish abolish the environmental uh, secretary and will merge it with the economic secretary. Now imagine who will win in a discussion between the trees and the money in the economic. <laughs> so you said he's going to merge them. It's got to. Yes, it's yes, it's yes. going to be the the department of the economy and environment. Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, like the department of Sancho Panza and Chipmunks. Uh, exactly. Sitting together on the same time. table and trying to discuss the the fate of both of them. Right. So so, g g good lord. So you you. you it's a pretty fair bet that I can plan over the next year to be reporting of skyrocketing deforestation rates, uh, skyrocketing pollution rates, extinction rates, uh, carbon uh, loss. It, it, it's pretty much a no-brainer with, with, with this guy. Um, exactly. Exactly. I have no doubt. I mean, high probability, very high probability that this will be the case. And uh, you know, don't fool yourself. The other option is not so, uh, it's, not, it's not bad. The, P the PT, the other party, uh, we will use the same game because if they were elected, the mess was so big here that nobody will pay attention to the environment anyway. But, but this one, this president, is a deliberate effort to boost the economy on the account of the environment. He declared that. He doesn't even bother to, to, to talk politically correct. You know? He just said it explicitly. You probably heard, uh, you probably heard over there that he's compared to Trump, not only in the, on his opinions and uh, offering, but also in his character. He's like a rough guy. Uh. He speaks uh, short sentences. He, he's rough on women. He's rough on, uh, on gays and so forth. So he, he sounds almost like a, a bastard love child between Donald Trump and Duterte over there in the Philippines. It's like, it, it's like we're actually getting the worst of the two biggest monsters already on the, already out there. And, and now, and now we've got, and now we've got this one. I mean, it's just, is, is it a good day or a bad day to be a collapsitarian here in... Uh... Well, you know, we don't have good days here. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a question of, of uh, measure. If it's a very bad day, terrible day, disaster day, uh, this, this, this day uh, when you will be officially elected is a disaster uh, for the collapse community. Disaster for, for everybody, but uh, disaster, special disaster for the guys who see that, <laughs> who see that, which is... But it's going to be a, 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 a few years of, of the high life for, uh, just like here in the U.S., there's going to be a few of uh, th this guy Bolsonaro's billionaire cronies making a bunch of money and and, I, and mm. I'm guessing that that China um, I, I, I'm going to take a wild guess that China is is absolutely celebrating the uh, election of this guy is, is is that too simplistic or is that true it's very true and they don't have to do a lot because they're already down down very deep here, down here very deep the, the, all over yeah the Chinese well yeah. Uh, I, 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 I predict uh, you're going to have a lot more Asian fusion restaurants to, uh, to, to enjoy uh, in, in Brazil. Yeah, this is, it, it's, it's just jaw-dropping uh, with, 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 with everything going on on this planet and, and you, you think you've heard it all 
And but 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 he was I mean unlike Donald Trump who did not get the popular vote. Uh, I mean we we can't be too soft on uh, the Brazilian citizenry. I mean clearly a, a, a unlike Trump a a clear majority of Brazilians obviously think that uh, it's the economy stupid and that job security tr excuse the term Trump's. Uh, environmental protection any day of the year. It's Absolutely, and this, this this is very hard for me because you know I have friends here and I talk to people. I don't vote. I'm not a citizen. I'm a, I have a green card. I'm permanent resident here, but I don't vote. So, don't so vote what are the the, the 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 few? I I know there's got to be a, a few people in Brazil who understand the just the catastrophic tragedy uh, of, 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 of what just went down in Brazil, that, that any progress that has been made in Brazil over the past 30 years uh, yes, it, it, it has gone down the toilet. I mean, is there, is there, what Let does that in, what Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what does a Brazilian environmentalist, uh, what, what would you say to a Brazilian environmentalist today? What are they sounding like? Well, the vote is like this. The, the, Green, the Green Party, led by Marina Silva, okay, Marina Silva, she's a woman, yeah, Marina Silva, it's called Red, Reddy. It's not exactly green, but the greenest party, which have the environment uh, on their agenda uh, to protect the environment. So, she won one percent. One percent. That was like one. Good lord. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. So, so she took uh, because she was cool. Uh, one percent. I I think the fact that that the the what we would consider the green uh, party candidate getting one percent. Uh, of the popular vote in Brazil says almost as much about the uh, the scale of the tragedy as this clown getting 46 uh, yes. percent in, in just the general election. So anyway, yes, it's by the way, it's exactly that we have about about 100 million voters here. So she got a bit more than a million. And he got 46 million. He got uh, 49 million because it's a bit uh, yeah, yeah. more than the one. Okay, 49 so. million compared to her 1 million. Unbelievable. Yeah. 49 million Brazilian vote, voted for him. Now, now, if you take the common Brazilian, right, the, the normal clueless city Brazilian uh, that works, has a job, he wants to prove his life, he do not give a damn about the environment because he wants a new car every year. He had two options. He had Bolsonaro, which is uh, the right wing, and uh, Fernando Haddad, which is the yeah. PT, uh, the left wing, the successor of Lula mm -hmm. and Dilma. Now, Fernando Haddad got almost 30%. We have 31 million people voted. Well, you voted for him. For so Fernando you add Haddad. the two together, you got 80 million versus Maria's 1 million. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and, it's it, it it it's 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 just when you think it cannot get more hopeless on this planet, it it, it does. Yeah, it's very sad. So are we? Uh, we, we I, do you agree that we have taken one certainly a a major step forward in the collapse of the Amazon rainforest, and a, and a step forward just in the ecological collapse of planet Earth with the election of this guy. Am I being alarmist by saying that? You couldn't be more right than that. This is uh, we 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 going south. We're going south literally. We're going uh, south very bad. This month is a, it's a black month for for the environment. Black black month for the for us for everybody. But we know about it. Most of the most of the guys here. Think they did well. Uh, well, Jay, I do appreciate you uh, bringing us the, 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 this latest uh, this latest deluge of, uh, of bad news from uh, from Brazil on this on this gloomy day and the collapse of global industrial civilization, which certainly is taking a step forward. So uh, all I can say is keep up the good fight, and we appreciate what you do for Collapse Chronicles, 
and onward through the fog, amigo. I can't say it was my pleasure to give this, uh, to do this conversation due to the content, but you know, always pleasure talking to you. All right. Bye. Take care.